We are just outside of Charlottesville at the Monroe Institute and this is a, a huge farm that is in the Blue Ridge Mountains and just it's heaven here, just heaven. I have come here um, originally I read a book by Robert Monroe called Journeys Out of the Body and I felt as though my spirituality, as though my being was affirmed, that I wasn't a kook for having some of the experiences that I've experienced. Bob Monroe's books are descriptions of his out-of-body experiences, what he experiences when he leaves his body and goes um, into different realms. And as a child, I had out-of-body experiences, and then I had an experience when I was in my 20s where this was a long time ago, but I was charged with electricity. This was deep in meditation, and and I thought I was being charged so much that it might just kill me. It, it frightened me. came out of meditation, and that charge brought this huge feeling of bliss for a long time. After that, I knew that that was a weird experience and I couldn't talk about it with anybody. It was it was weird and I wasn't sure if I was schizophrenic or, or if, if I was crazy and I didn't want to talk about it with people because they hadn't experienced it. And then I read his book and realized that it's much more common. I wrote to the Monroe Institute and this was back in the 70s and got a response. And that was huge. And so um, the fact that you know this person who became famous through his books would take time to write that was important and um, in my experiences here I had an experience um, called Gateway it was one of the courses that's offered here and it gave me so much it, it expanded I, I let go of some belief systems that were just totally not right and um, it, it gave me confidence Gateway is the first course that they recommend. Take Gateway first and then the other ones, there's sort of a sequence, but there's more choice in it. But Gateway is uh, six days of work where we spend time in the, the check unit, which is actually a, a sleeping place that's a meditation place. There's no the, the environment is controlled. There's no no phones, no music, no newspapers, no radio. All of that external is on purpose kept out so that we're not worried about time. We're not worried about fixing a meal. We're not worried about any of those things that, that we get can get caught up in. And we have specific, I would say, maybe three or four times a day where we go into our our meditation state and we listen to frequencies. We're able to experience different aspects of ourself that are very different than the physical. And so the very first six days is, is um, listening to the frequencies. It's shedding um, belief systems that don't work. It's expanding and understanding ourselves in a much bigger way. Uh, a little preface before I went to Gateway. I have two adult children and my daughter had just graduated from college and gotten married to somebody that we're thrilled about. And she went to Thailand to teach English and as a mother, never having been to Thailand, I was concerned about her and I didn't realize how concerned I was till I came to Gateway. So in my meditations I Oh, sent my energy and love to her and, and surrounded her with, with this was my intention in, in meditation, surrounding her with love and protection. In the process of that meditation, I saw her and was with her. I saw her needing money and being hungry and lonesome and loving her kids that she was teaching. But immediately, um, as soon as I came out of that meditation, I couldn't wait to call my husband and say, get some money in her account. She needs some money because she's got to eat. And, and then went back to her again. And the, in that process, I had sent dolphins 
to her, to surround her with this love and protection. And just recently, maybe last week, she told me that all of her friends there called her Dolph, which is short for dolphin. <laughs> and that was, in, that was her nickname. And I just think that's just um, uncanny, but it was a, uh, an experience where we exchanged love and protection and um, love knows no distance, it, it's immediate, and uh, that, that affected me in a big way. There were many others that um, are emotionally important for me, so I, I won't go into the ones that, will, that would bore you, but, but the experiences are, are personal and uh, shifting. I, the, the big question was, is this real? Am I crazy? And was that God? <laughs> and, and I really wanted an answer. I knew that there were answers. And of course, God, yes, it's real. And we can't say whether it's God, it's your experience. And your experience is important to you. And it affirmed me, my personhood, that, that I'm not schizophrenic. But that's one of the beautiful things is that the Monroe Institute is not of course it's it's spiritual because that's my culture but they try to keep it very scientific they don't say it's this or it's that but they help me understand my personal experience so um, it was very affirming but yet I was not told yes it's God well in my mind I'm sure that that is an aspect of God but but I was very interested in the scientific part of it and, and thought that was interesting that it came through scientifically instead of, instead of uh, labeling it with a, a cultural bias. It affected my life in that coming from here and going back into my busy life, I look at people differently. They're, they're bigger. What they have to say is important. It's a, it's a broader understanding, it's a, a deeper connection, and we're all spiritual entities. No matter what these physical bodies give us, we're more to it than that, and, and that understanding makes our relationships different. And um, different experiences, whether we want them or not, happen. And so I felt opened up to these experiences, able to see them. I think all of us are bombarded with these wonderful messages and experiences and we're busy and don't see them. And so it was, it opened up my awareness to many more than I had before. So it's a big experience.